Welcome to the Build Bill Overview Tutorial. Let's start a game. Select the world you wish to load. Here you can play a world in survival mode, or build your own world using unlimited resources. You may also start a new world using an existing world as a base. Let's build onto the tutorial world. We have a couple of options we can set. One allows us to use the survival mode interface of just left and right hand items. The second enables AI and damage, which means we can drown in water or die in lava. First start to enter the level. The tutorial level has signs that tell you how to play. You may play the tutorial level on survival mode and follow the signs. Swiping on the left of the screen lets us move around while swiping on the right of the screen lets you look around. The camera button lets you see what you look like. The jump button lets you jump, and the crawl button toggles between standing and crawling. Holding the jump button puts you into the flight mode. While flying, the jump and crawl button allows you to rise or fall. The Use button allows you to activate and deactivate items. The Dig button allows you to dig away whatever tile the reticle is over. Place tiles, you must first select some from the inventory. Use the backpack icon in the top left. You can place tiles, objects, and actors. Let's place some yellow light blocks by dragging one into any slot at the bottom. Then hit the back button to return to the game. You can place a block by touching the place tile button. or by tapping anywhere on the screen. You can change the look of a tile by going into the inventory and selecting the tile, and then touching the palette button. Here we see the default ground tile. The Tile Type button lets us select from a number of different ways of modelling the tile. Each tile is made from a set of images. The Tile Layer button lets us choose which image we wish to edit. You can even edit multiple images at once by selecting the checkboxes. You can quickly flip through the layers by holding your finger on the tile button and sliding up or down. Let's change the ground tile to take the same texture on all six sides. Now select a colour. With the colour selected, you can drill directly onto the texture and it will appear in the preview. The undo button can undo any changes that you made. The pick button lets you select an existing colour from the image to draw with. Enabling the alpha button will blend your colour onto the background. The erase icon allows you to make transparent parts of your tile. Enabling the fill mode lets you fill large areas with a single colour. Double clicking on the fill icon fills the entire image with that colour. The noise icon adds noise to your image. 
The sun icon lets you toggle between emissive mode and normal mode. Emissive mode lets you choose which pixels are visible in the blackest of darkness. When you have finished with your image, you can go back to the game by selecting the back icons. Your new tile will now be visible in game. As well as modifying the look of a tile, you can also modify its properties. Go to the inventory and select the cog icon to configure the tile. Here you have many options that affect how a tile behaves, such as whether or not the tile is a torchlight, collides with the player, orientates when placed, how the tile is used or burns, how much light it blocks. For now, let's modify the visual warp. This will make the ground tile flat instead of warpy. When we return back, we'll now see that the ground tile is perfectly flat. Actors can be placed in the level much the same way as tiles. Select the actors and drag them into your placement slots. Here I've made a very large wear line and some very small peaks. Currently they will just run around randomly. As a final note, you have some global control over the world by the world icon in the inventory. Here you can change the time of day, clear away all the terrain that you've built so far. and change the random seed. In future we will bring you detailed video tutorials on configuring actors, objects, tiles and how to rig up your own game logic. Thank you for watching the Buildville Overview Tutorial Video